What is up guys, it's your boy Shadows, and today I'm going to be showing you all how to download Trip. Uh, for first time users, Trip is a compatible bot with both Mac and Windows that's made in Python, and this tutorial is strictly for Windows. So I'd recommend you guys download in WinRAR, you just search WinRAR on Google, and downloads, and 64-bit, most people have a 64-bit system, if you don't, then you can just try 32-bit, but most likely you'll have a 64-bit system. And you just want to download that. And then you want to go to hashtag release downloads in the Discord. And it'll take you to a Google Drive link. And in the top right, there will be an arrow. And you just click download. And then you'll see a dot zip like this with three little books. You just want to drag it to your desktop. And after that, you just want to click on it. And right click and extract here. What it's going to do is make a folder, as you can see. And you want to double click on the folder and take out the main trip folder so after that you want to open up the main trip folder and scroll down to see trip.io application with the black background and the white T you just want to double click on it and it opens up the user interface so to enter your key you want to go to settings and when you're entering it make sure it has no spaces and for discord webhook the bot will send out a confirmation to a Discord channel of your choice. If you have more questions, just ask support or read the hashtag FAQ and Discord. For profiles, make sure your telephone number is spaced out in this format. And for cards, it'll automatically format it correctly. And for task, when you make a task, if you want it to run manually with the Chrome browser, do not turn on keyword. Make sure it's unchecked like this. But if you want to run headless or request based make sure you turn on keyword and make sure that when you're typing the keyword you capitalize the first letter so for example T and then black and then small like that and also there's a proxy tester when you're testing your proxies make sure to test all multiple times because the speeds aren't going to be accurate the first time sometimes they're slower but as you test more and more, the speeds will most likely go down. Uh, if you have any more questions, just let us know. And uh, good luck.